Cavs hosting the Hawks, and the Cavs are five-point favorites. The over-under is at 237. The Hawks are plus 172 on the money line, and the Cavs are minus 205. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to tip off tomorrow or if teams confirm lineups. It's supposed to be Young, Murray, Hunter, Bay, Capella, Garland, Mitchell, Struess, Mobley, and Allen. Lineups have not been confirmed. That's just who's supposed to be on the court. Head-to-head, the home team is on a three-game winning streak. The home team is 8-2. and two. The Hawks are on a two-game winning streak. The Hawks are 7-3 and three against the Cavs in their last 10. The favorite is 7-3 and three on the money line. The favorite is 6-4 and four against the spread. The under is 6-4 and four in their last 10, and the over-under at 237 is 5-5. Five and five. The over is 10-6 and six in the Hawks games, and the over is 10-7 and seven in the Cavs games. They have not played each other yet this year. The Hawks are 2-2 two two in their last four. They are 1-3 and three against the spread in those games. The under is hitting their last two. The over-under is 2-2 two two in their last four. 309 points, then there was 200 and 292 points, uh, 244 points, and then 216. They lost by 5, 1 by 2, 1 by 28, and then lost by 10. For the Cavs, they are 2-2 two two in their last four. They have not covered their last three games. They are 1-3 against the spread, and the over is 3-1 in those games. 241, 225, 236, and then 207. They won by 3, lost by 33, lost by 6, and then won by 3. And I imagine that they were the favorite because Mitchell was probably playing in their home. But I like that the Hawks here as an underdog in this situation. I'm going to take the Hawks with the money line. I'm going to take the Hawks getting the points, and I'm going to go over. If this was later in the season and Mitchell had been playing consistently, I'd probably lean Cavs, but we'll see if the rust is uh, a factor. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.